the white Yajurveda of the Yaya 13, 58 verses. I take within me Agni first for increase of my wealth, good offspring, manly strength, so may the deities wait on me. Thou art the water's back, the womb of Agni, around the ocean as it swells and surges, waxing to greatness, resting on the lotus, spread forth in amplitude with heaven's own measure. Eastward at first was Brahma generated. Vena o'erspread the bright ones from the summit, disclosed his deepest, nearest revelations, womb of existent and non-existent. In the beginning rose Haranyagarbha, born only lord of all created being. He fixed and holdeth up this earth and heaven. Worship we, Ka the god, with our oblation. The drop leaped onward through the earth and heaven along this place, and that which was before it, I offer up throughout the seven oblations, the drop still moving to the common dwelling. Homage be paid to serpents, unto all of them that are on earth, to those that dwell in air, to those that dwell in sky be homage paid, to those that are the demon's darts, to those that live upon the trees, to all the serpents that lie low in holes, be adoration paid, are those that are in heaven's bright sphere, are those that dwell in the sun's beams, serpents whose home has been prepared in waters, homage unto them, put forth like a wide-spreading net, thy vigor go like a mighty king with his attendants, thou following thy swift net, shootest arrows, transfix the fiends with darts, that burn most fiercely, forth go, in rapid flight, thy whirling weapons, follow them closely, glowing in thy fury, spread with thy tongue, the winged flames, O Agni, unfettered, cast thy firebrands all around thee, send thy spies forward, fleetest in thy motion, be ne'er deceived, the guardian of this people, from him who far or near is bent on evil, and let no trouble sent from thee overcome us. Rise up, O Agni, spread thee out before us. Burn down our foes, thou who hast sharpened arrows. Him, blazing Agni, who hath worked us mischief. Consume thou utterly like dried-up stubble. Rise, Agni, to drive off those who fight against us. Make manifest thine own celestial vigor. Slacken the strong bows of the demon-driven. Destroy our foemen whether kin or stranger, I settle thee with Agnes' fiery ardor. Agnes is head and height of heaven, and master of the earth is he. He quickeneth the water's seed. I settle thee with the strong, with the great strength of Indra. Thou art the leader of the right and region, to which, with thine auspicious teams, thou tendest. Thy light bestowing head to heaven thou liftest. Making thy tongue the oblation bearer, Agni. Steady art thou, sustainer, led by this the Carmen in my place. Let not the ocean nor the bird harm thee, unshaking steady earth. Thee let Prajapate settle on the water's back and ocean's course. Thee the capacious, widely spread, thou art the wide one. Spread thee wide, thou art the earth, the ground, thou art the all sustaining Atate. She who supporteth all the world, control the earth, steady the earth, do thou the earth no injury. For all breath, out breath, through breath, upward breathing, for high position, for prescribed observance, may Agni keep thee safe with great well being, with the securest shelter, as aforetime with Angiras, with that deity, lie steady. Upspringing from thine every joint, upspringing from each knot of thine. Thus with a thousand, Durva, with a hundred, do thou stretch us out. Thou spreading with a hundred, thou that branched with a thousand shoots. Thee, such with our oblation, will we worship. 
O celestial brick, thy lights, O Agne, in the sun, that with their beams are spread the sky. With all of those assist thou us today to light and progeny. Lights of yours in the sun, O gods, are lights that are in kind and steeds. O Indra Agne, with all those vouchsafest light, Brahaspate, the far refulgent held the light, the self refulgent held the light. The luminous may Prajapate settle upon the back of earth. Give to all breathing, all the light, to outbreath, to diffuse of breath. Thy sovereign lord is Agne, with that deity as with Angeras. Lie firmly settled in thy place. Madhu and Madhava, the two spring seasons, thou art the innermost cement of Agne. May heaven and earth, may waters, plants, and Agnes help separate accordant. My precedence. May all the fires, twixt heaven and earth, one-minded, well-fitted, gather round these two spring seasons. As the gods gathering encompass Indra, firm with that deity, and Geras like be seated. Thou art a Shadva, conquering one. Conquer our foemen. Conquer thou the men who fain would fight with us. A thousand manly powers hast thou. So do thou aid and quicken me. The winds waft sweets. The rivers pour sweets for the man who keeps the law. So may the plants be sweet for us. Sweet be the night, and sweet the dawns. Sweet the terrestrial atmosphere. Sweet be our Father Heaven to us. May the tall tree be full of sweets for us, and full of sweets the sun. May our milchy kind be sweet for us. Seat thyself in the deepness of the waters, lest Surya, lest the Esvanara Agne scorch thee. With wing unclipped, survey created beings. May rain that cometh down from heaven attend thee. He crept across the three heaven-reaching oceans, the bull of bricks, the master of the waters, clad in the world with his, the well-maids vesture. Go, whither those before thee have departed. May heaven and earth, the mighty pair, besprinkle this, our sacrifice, and feed us full with nourishments. Look ye on Vishnu's works, whereby the friend of Indra, close allied, hath let his holy ways be seen. Firm art thou a sustainer. Hence, engendered forth, when these wombs at first came Jatabedas, by Kayatri, by Trishtub, by Anushtub, may he who knows, bear to the gods oblation, take thou thine ease for food, for store of riches, for might and splendor, and for strength and offspring. Thou art all rolling, independent ruler. Both fountains of Sarasvati protect thee, O radiant Agne, harness thou thy steeds which are most excellent. They bear thee as thy spirit wills, yoke Agne as a charioteer, thy steeds who best invoke the gods, as ancient Hotar take thy seat. Like rivers our libations flow together, cleansing themselves, and in most heart and spirit I look upon the flowing streams of butter, the golden reed is in the midst of Agne, thee for the praise verse, thee for the sheen, thee for the bright splendor, thee for light. This hath become the energetic spirit of all the world, and of the Esvenara Agne. Agne, all luminous with light, splendid with splendor, golden one, giver of thousands art thou, for a thousand thee. Balm thou with milk the unborn babe, Aditya, roaring all forms, creator of a thousand. Spare him with heat, nor plot against him. Give him a hundred years of life, while thou art building. The wind's impetuous rush, the runa's navel, the horse that springs to life amid the waters, the river's tawny child, based on the mountain, harm not. O Agne, in the loftiest region, unwasting drop, red eager pressing forward, Agne, I worship with repeated homage, forming thyself with joints in proper order, harm not the cow, Aditya, widely ruling, her who is Tabashtar's guardian, Varuna's navel, the ewe bought, brought forth from out the loftiest region, the Asura's mighty thousandfold contrivance, injure not in the highest sphere, O Agne, the Agne, who from Agne had his being from the heat of earth, are also heat of heaven, whereby the omnific one engendered creatures, him may thy fierce displeasure spare, O Agne, the brilliant presence of the gods hath risen, the eye of Mitra, Varuna, and Agne, the soul of all that moveth not, are moveth, the sun hath filled the air, and earth, and heaven, injure not thousand-eyed, while thou art building for sacrifice this animal, the biped, 
except as Pitt's man's counterfeit, the victim, Agne. Therewith, building thy thorns be settled, let thy flame reach man's counterfeit, let thy flame reach the man we hate. Harm not this animal whose hooves are solid. The coarser name in the midst of coursers, I dedicate to thee the forest Gaura, building thy bodies up with him be settled. Let thy flame reach the Gaura, let thy flame reach him whom we detest. Thousandfold with a hundred streams this fountain expanded in the middle of the waters infinite yielding butter for the people harm not o acne in the highest region this wild bull of the forest i assign thee building thy bodies up therewith be settled let thy flame reach the wild bull Let thy flame reach him who we detest. This creature clothed in wool, Varuna's navel, the skin of animals. Quadruped and biped, the first that was produced of Tavashtar's creatures. O Agne, harm not in the highest region. The forest buffalo do I assign thee, building thy bodies up therewith be settled. Let thy flame Reach the forest buffalo. Mutato, mutando. From Agni's Wharf, the he goat had his being, he looked at first upon his generator. Thereby, the gods at first attained the godhead. Those meet for worship to the height ascend. The forest, Sorabba, do I assign thee building? Thy bodies up therewith be settled, let thy flame reach. Do thou, most evil God, protect the men who offer, hear their songs, protect his offspring and himself. I set thee in the passage of the waters, I set thee in the swelling of the waters, I set thee in the ashes of the waters, I set thee in the luster of the waters, I set thee in the way which the waters travel, I set thee in the flood the place to test in, I set thee in the sea, the place to rest in, I set thee in the stream, the place to rest in, I set thee in the water's habitation, I set thee in the resting place of waters, I set thee in the station of the waters, I set thee in the meeting place of the waters, I set thee in the birthplace of the waters, I set thee in the refuse of the waters, I set thee in the residence of the waters, I set thee with the Gayatri meter, I settle thee with the Trishtub meter, I settle thee with the Jagati meter, I settle thee with the Anastub meter, I settle thee with the Punkte meter, this in front is Buvar, his offspring breath. Bravayana, springs Pramandiana. The Gayatri is the daughter of spring. From the Gayatri comes the Gayatri tomb. From the Gyatra, the Upamsu. From the Upamsu, the Trivrit. From the Trivrit, the Ratantara, the Rishi. Vasishta, by thee, taken by Prajapate, I take the vital breath for creatures. This on the right, the omnific, his, the omnific's offspring. Mine, summer, sprang from mine. The Trishtub is the daughter of summer. From the Trishtub came the Sabara song. From the Sabara, the Antaryama. From the Antaryama, the Panchadasa. From the Panchadasa, the Prihat, the Risha. Barambaja, by thee, taken by Prajapate, I take mine for creatures. This on the western side, the all embracer, his, the all embracer's offspring, the eye, the rain spring from the eye. The Jagati is the daughter of the rains. From the Jagati came the Rikshama, from the Rikshama, the Sukra, from the Sukra, the Saptadasa, from the Saptadasa, the Vaerupa. The Rishi Jamad Agne, by thee taken by Prajapate, I take the eye for creatures. This on the north side. Heaven is heaven's offspring, the ear, autumn, the daughter of the ear. The Anushtub sprang from autumn. From the Anushtub came the Aedda. From the Aedda, Manthan. From Manthan, the 
Eka Vimsa, from the Eka Vimsa, the Vajra, the Rishi, Vitsva Mitra, by thee taken by Prajapate, I take the ear for creatures, this above intellect, its intellect's offspring speech, winter, the offspring of speech, Pankte, spring from winter, from Pankte, the Nidhanavat, from the Nidhanavat came the Agrayana, from the Agrayana, the Trinava, from the Trayas Trimsa, from the Trinava, from the Trayas Trimsa, the Sakbara, from the Raivata, the Resha, Visvakarman, by thee taken by Visvakarman, I take speech for people, fill up the room. etc., the dappled kind, etc., all sacred songs, etc. All sacred songs have magnified Indra, expansive as the sea, the best of warriors born on cars, the Lord, the very Lord of strength. The dappled kind, who stream with milk, prepare his draught of soma juice, clans in the birthplace of the gods, in the three luminous realms of heaven. Fill up the room, supply the void, then settle steady in my place. Indra Agnet and Brahaspata have settled thee down in this abode. Now, I said 56, 55, and 54, because that's what I said. Um, there's some extractor here, right? Now, um, remember this, gods. Well, is, is it an idea that we can, like, say like is it like Allahuma or Elohim that we can believe in one god or multiple gods and say the same thing um Harani Garbag isn't that like the idea of like um like a central body of divinity and we have um Bankavan and some other terms that kind of stem from that idea. But in reference to this hate and cursing, we don't just hate people willy-nilly. We don't just curse willy-nilly. We love what divinity wants us to love and hate what divinity doesn't want us to love, right? Um, well, hate what... So, so it's based on what's actually good and true or not. Now, do we say that we hate beings or we just hate the, you know, character traits, right? And if it's serious enough to get violent, of course, it can become a religious act. And that should be something considered, too. Is it still on religious principles? I would personally stay away from any secular warfare.